Okay. All right, welcome everybody to the webinar tonight. This is uh, the top five revenue producing activities most entrepreneurs want to be focused on every day to be more successful. Uh, type, uh, this is the title technically, but it's really about marketing basics, uh, marketing basics for consistent cash flow. And honestly, there's, uh, I know that we are told to do so many different things in our marketing and we hear about, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, and bright shiny object over here, and this strategy over there. And uh, it gets really overwhelming and confusing and I get it. Um, and so I want to try to dispel those myths and get you clear and focused on a path because when we're, when we're overwhelmed or unsure or unsure of what will work or overwhelmed with too many options, we kind of freeze and we don't do anything. So I don't want that to happen to you. Um, we're going to talk about uh, some of the mistakes that people make, but we want to dive into the actual strategies to a certain extent as much as we can do in an hour, right? And uh, I want to make sure you guys all introduce each other. Please uh, feel free to connect with each other in the chat room. I do this on a regular basis in my International Entrepreneur Network organization that I run. It's seven bucks a month. You can always join us over there and do more Zoom calls like this. Uh, the Zoom call tonight is more of a webinar, so I'm actually giving a little presentation with a PowerPoint and stuff. Um, but I also am going to have it open up for Q&A. Usually the International Entrepreneur Network stuff, it's all hot seats, so it's all masterminding, like, PK, what are you working on? And then we give you ideas and feedback and stuff like that. So it's a great place to be if you want more support. Mm -hmm. um, also at the end, I will, um, I'm going to talk about what I call easy yes offers today, because when you're in person with uh, people at live events or conferences and things like that, a lot of times I see people at live events who don't have anything for sale like you just because you don't have a book doesn't mean you can't sell a consult on the spot with somebody who might be in hot prospects we're going to talk a little bit about uh what you're selling creating it easy yes offers and then of course at the end i might have an easy yes offer for you too to come see me in november in la at my event and all that so um couple different ways to get more support after the presentation tonight so uh, again my name is katrina sawa for those of you who don't know me very well I am known as the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach because uh, I kick my clients into high gear I, with love, lots of love, uh, in how to uh, start, grow, and market their, develop their business a lot more smoothly and more efficiently so they can see a lot more profits. So I'm going to share a little bit more about me and my story and all that. Again, I talk kind of fast. This is recorded if you have to jump off, but I do want to let people know that who you are in the beginning. So we'll do introductions, then I'll do a presentation, then we'll do Q and A at the end and maybe some hot seats if we have time, okay? So uh, it'll go kind of fast, uh, but hang on and you can always interject in the, in the chat room. If you could just say who you are, where you are calling in from, how long you've been in business, what you do in just a couple sentences, that would be ideal. If you wanna do PK, then Barbara, and then Gary, we'll go from there. Go ahead. Okay, my name is PK Odell and I run a company called the Feng Shui Advantage. I started it in 1997. I'm also the executive director of the American Feng Shui Institute where I started teaching for them in 1998. I specialize in helping business owners thrive financially, increase productivity, and reduce spending by working with clients in person in the Los Angeles area area and virtually worldwide whether they own or rent their residential or commercial spaces. Awesome. Awesome. Go ahead, Barbara. Hi, I'm Barb Ingracia, and I live in central Massachusetts. I work with people to empower them to guard what they create, to guard their gold mine. The assets that you create, you spend a lot of time doing that, and effort and money, and you want to protect those. It's so easy to search, copy, paste, and send in the internet age. And I want to help you protect that so that you guard your gold mine so that you don't have to go out and defend your gold mine. And my tool of choice is copyright law. I work with individuals. I love giving workshops, bringing some fun to a heavy topic. Mm. My company is Manage Copyright. Gary? Yes, Katrina. Yes, my name is Gary McKenzie. I live in Central California. And present uh, webinars, not webinars, but 
programs primarily in Sacramento and it's in the San Francisco Bay Area. They're virtually throughout the U.S. I work with individuals to help build their business, help grow their business, and in particular, how to use public speaking. Because after all, we're all experts, and yet if you cannot stand and stay on a stage and present with confidence, you won't be viewed as an expert. So the way you stand head and shoulders above your competition is through public speaking, and I work with you to develop your public speaking and presentation skills. Thank you, Katrina. You bet, how about Michelle? Hi guys, my name is Michelle Altizer, Katrina, and I met this weekend at Craig Dustwald's marketing, a rockstar marketing event, along with PK. I am just now looking to step out of corporate America and get into something for myself, and so I am here to drink in information to try to figure out what exactly I want to do and how to do it. Mostly I'm going to be learning from all of you. Awesome. How about uh, Brenda and then Ava? Hi, my name is Brenda. I'm from Northern Nevada. And I actually found Katrina through, I'm the managing director of a women's networking group called Polka Dot Powerhouse here in Carson City. And my business, I've had my own business for a long time and I'm a business consultant. So I, do extensive research and analysis and create choices and opportunities for people within their company where they're struggling or having a hard time. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Ava, are you in a place where you can talk? I don't know. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, because I have the laptop basically against my face right now. <laughs> awesome. It's not working very well. I'm having technical issues and uh, I'm an internet consultant, so it's not good at the moment. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm an internet consultant and website services provider. So basically I work with mostly women and a lot of moms because I also have a website for moms. It's busy-mom.com. And I help them with anything they need to get online and get their business promoted. Uh, domain research, domain sales, web hosting, web development, graphics, videos, basically anything they need to be online and great resources. To awesome. Make their lives easier. And I'm in New York City. Yay, we've got coast to coast. Okay, so uh, since nobody else is here live at the moment, who knows, they might show up. I'm going to just start uh, the presentation. Before I do that, though, I promised. Some of you, whether you know it or not, some of you may not have even seen that I did this, but I promised to give you three order form templates. Uh, who, who knows that I was doing that? Uh, oh, good, a few of you get. Okay, uh, three order form templates. Now, some of you might have order forms already, and um, I'm gonna explain how to use those, uh, but I'm getting them so I can put them into the chat for you. And those are pretty much just for those of you who come live. So uh, I'll show you examples if you're watching the replay, but you might not. Um, uh, you saw what? You saw that? Oh, you saw that. Oh, good, Ava. Okay. Yeah, if you don't come live, you can't get the links. So they, I've uploaded them to my website. And uh, so I'm going to put those into the chat for you right now. And you can always click and They're probably going to click and, and force it to download into your computer or something, I'm guessing. Uh, but there are two Word documents and a PowerPoint. So if you don't have PowerPoint, um, I can get you maybe a PDF of the version of it, but uh, that's the, those are the three I wanted to show you. But I'll pull them up in a little bit as well during the presentation. So I just wanted to let you know those are there. And let me turn that off. <laughs> And I just love Zoom. I love phones too. Why are you doing that? Okay. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Okay. Can everybody see the PowerPoint now? Anybody not see it? Okay. All right. So it's marketing basics for consistent cash flow. 
I am so passionate about helping people make a lot more money doing what they love. Uh, I think a lot of you know that. One thing I wanted to just say is like, you know, you want to look at marketing. We have all to do more marketing, but you have to get in front of a lot more people more often and in more ways quickly because if you don't ramp up your business quickly and get to a consistent revenue generating business quickly, then the likelihood of life stepping in and getting in your way, it's very possible something could happen. So some of you know that my current husband, when we were in, when, three weeks after he basically proposed, he was diagnosed with cancer, right? And so nobody ever wants something like this to happen and nobody expects anything to happen. But immediately I had to go into working half days a week immediately from when he was diagnosed because we had to go down to the cancer center every single day. Okay. Every single day. And of course I'm going to go with him. So instead of working eight hours a day or from nine to six or whatever it was I was doing, I had to go to the cancer center and I maybe got in four hours a day of work. Okay. With clients and I had to reschedule clients. Couldn't do as much as I was normally doing. I had to really pass off a lot more to my team. So the sooner you can get your marketing into systems and even delegate and automate a lot of this stuff, the better off you're going to be because what if something happens, okay, to you or a loved one? And so I first I'm promising that with this. So yeah, I'm going to be talking about a lot of different marketing strategies here, and but we've got to do more than we normally think we're going to need to do, um, plain and simple. So, you know, you probably here because you're overwhelmed. Maybe you want more consistent cash flow. If you're on that roller coaster ride, then that's no fun, right? And if you are confused about marketing or technology or what to do or where to start and all that kind of thing, I mean, there's a lot of options out there. And there's a lot of noise and talking about funnels and autoresponders and all this kind of stuff. So we're going to talk about that. Um, hopefully you want a smooth running money making business because I'm really here for one reason and that is to show you how to make more money and I'm really about the showing and the how and it's not just telling you oh do a blog or oh do this social media it's how first thing though we have to talk about is how much money do you really need to make to get there okay so <clears throat> I have a need number worksheet and I will put it in the chat room let me write that down I didn't put that in. It, it's going to take you a little, it's not like you're going to be able to do it during the call, but I'll put it into the chat room and, um, and I'll give it to those of you who are watching the replay too, because it's a, it's a four page document of really thinking about the, your net, your, what you what you need to make every month. And a lot of times we think we need, we know, we know what we need. Um, but you don't, I, trust me, you're not gonna have thought of everything I have on this worksheet. And so the bigger you make your goal, the, the better. Because if you put your goal too low, oh, I only need to make $3,000 to pay the rent and, the, you know, and some of the bills and then I'm good. Then that's really all you're gonna get. You'll be lucky if you get more than that, right? So you might need to delegate, you might need a new website, you might need to write a book or become a speaker or get to a lot more events that may cost money or membership, you know, investments. So you really, and you might need a coach or a mentor or go to some workshops throughout the year and, and really learn more about sales and marketing or whatever else you need to do. You've got to put all of that into your need number. You've got to put all of that into your your, your goal of what you need to make every month. Okay. So I'm going to give you a worksheet sheet to go through that. Please, please, please do that sometime in the next couple months. Okay. Give yourself a couple months. This is the time now we're talking, if you're watching this live, then we're in October, 2019 and it's time. I've already done my whole business plan for 2020, by the way. Okay. It's not all pretty and all designed. It's, it's literally on a, uh, a yellow uh, pad of paper. It's three pages on this yellow pad of paper. That's my business plan so far. I haven't put it into a whiteboard or, or flip charts or a mind map or a vision board yet, which I do plan on doing, but it all stems on how much I need to make and what I need to do to get there. So you're going to need to talk to more people than you think you do to make the number that you don't even know that you need to make yet is my point. So we're talking about um, the marketing basics today. I see people coming in. Thanks, Barbara and Barbara. Um, and we'll get, we're, we're going to open it up for questions at the end. This won't go too, too long. You guys, I want to have it interactive at the end, just for those of you who just joined us. Um, 
So what motivates you to, to make more money, to get more marketing in place? Some of you need to pay your bills and that's what motivates you. Some of you want more things like travel, cars, vacations, time with family. Some of you want to travel a lot more. Some of you want to give back and donate more. Some of you have huge missions. I know I have some clients with really big missions. They want to build a, a center for uh, women in business in Kenya, or you know, they want to do good outside in other countries, or you want to build a wellness center in your own hometown, and, and that might cost a quarter of a million dollars. So how are we going to make a lot more money doing what we love so that we can really fund our mission and our goals? So that's really where you need to think first, is that big picture vision, okay? Today we're going to cover as quickly as possible the, the, some of the biggest mistakes and then really the secrets to enjoying a smooth running money making business. And then a few tweaks and things you can do and do quickly to start implementing more marketing that's going to bring more profits. So first off is, you know, some of the mistakes and I'm 17 years into my business. All right. I've made all these mistakes. I've said, I can't afford it. I said, Oh, I don't do it that way. Oh, I can figure it out. Or I tried that. It didn't work. Or I don't know if I believe that's possible. Um, I don't have time to do that right now. I don't do, I do a lot of marketing already. I don't need to add any more or it's not a good time to do that. Or I want to keep my personal stuff separate from my business. Now I don't usually say that, but, <laughs> but there's a, because it's really important to um, embrace, to be your business. Most of you on the line, you are your business. It's not like you work for a bigger entity. Some of you might, if you're watching the replay, but from who I can see is on the line, you know, you guys are your business. Uh, people are buying you when they buy you. So we can't, you just have to change the way you're thinking. And we don't have time, a lot of time to get into the mindset here. I do that at live events and in coaching and things like that. But um, know that if you're saying any of these things, um, you're, you may not have given it a chance, especially if you've tried it and it doesn't work. If I tell you a strategy is going to work, you just haven't tried it the right way <laughs> or you haven't tried it the right way that's worked or you haven't used the right language or you haven't done it consistently enough. Okay. Now I come from an advertising background. So I used to sell ads in the local newspaper here in Sacramento, California. And I would knock around, knock on doors, go to different businesses all day long. And they'd be like, Oh, you're from the B. I I've tried that. It doesn't work. Well, what did you try? Well, I ran an ad one time and I got zero response. I'm like, so you ran it one time in the paper. Is that what I'm to hear? And then when I find out what they really ran, it was like, I don't know, something about this size, right? Teeny tiny. And it didn't have any information on it, but their logo and a phone number or something. And I'm like, well, no wonder it didn't work because you didn't have a plan. You didn't have a strategy. There was no attention getting call to action. There was no, uh, there was no, why would people take action? There's no, nothing that stood out in it. And you certainly didn't do it on a consistent basis to give it a, a chance to work. So therefore, uh, that's not good. And I had somebody on a call the other day that said, well, I don't do, what was it that she said she doesn't do? I don't do Facebook because, oh no, 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 it was emails. I don't do email newsletters because I don't like to do, I don't like to get email newsletters. I don't like to be on people's lists. So I don't want, I haven't started building a list yet because I don't like being on them. And I said, okay, so just because you don't like to do something doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. It's, you still need to do the things that work. Okay. So it's like direct mail. A lot of people don't like to get junk mail in the mail. Well, that's the, one of the most important things you can do these days is do stuff in the mail. You guys, seriously. So we're going to talk about what to do in a minute. Um, why you should listen to me. Some people have, some of you have known me for a while. Some of you just met me. Um, I've been doing this for 17 years. I've worked with thousands of different kind of business owners from brick and mortar to franchise, to network marketing, to coaches, online marketers, um, service professionals, financial planners, insurance. It doesn't matter what type of business you have. In fact, I like to have a variety of clients because it keeps me sharp. It keeps me thinking about new ideas. I love to pull an idea from a roofing company uh, marketing strategy and give it to a salon owner uh, that can, they can use the same strategy. 
because all of it's really uh, relationship marketing, okay? It's relationship marketing. We just have to find the ways that work for you and your type of business, also your personality and your target market's personality, frankly, okay? When I first started my business, I did nothing but networking and follow-up in my local area because this video stuff didn't exist, social media didn't exist. I barely had a website, you guys. I mean, I was doing trade for my first website, never do that, right? <laughs> like, that's not a good idea. Your website is your most important marketing tool. You don't wanna do it on trade. It took me nine months to get a website up because I was doing it on trade and I was the last project of importance, right? So. I, but all I did was networking and then I followed up like crazy. And a few years after that, I realized, whoa, I have a really good follow-up system because I'm doing really good, right? So I, I like to make marketing fun for people. I wanna help you make it fun and easy for you to do and easy for you to also delegate because you have to do more, you have to get in front of more people. So we have to figure out a way to make this fun for you, okay? Um, I've been doing six figures or multiple six figures for the last 11 years in a row. I'm very consistent um, in growing my revenue. If you are not, then you really want to pay attention to some of the things that I'm telling you because the consistency, the frequency of things that I'm doing, how to automate, delegate, and systematize, that is how I'm there. That is how I'm there, okay? It's not because I'm creating a whole new thing every year. It's not because I have hugely expensive you know programs that people are buying it's not that i'm selling a gazillion things online that is not it. it is the consistency of the things that i'm doing that is bringing in the revenues i'm telling you so yes i do get a lot of pr and i'm on a lot of calls and things like that i want to help you design the life that you want though so my whole goal is to figure out what kind of lifestyle you want and then redesign your life to fit or your business to fit around your life. We don't want to fit your life in around your business, okay? So I love spending time with my family. This is us at Disneyland uh, this last summer. And so if you want more family time, then we have to schedule that in. I'm really big at looking at clients' schedules and their calendars and make sure you're really plotting the things that you want first, right? So we do fun things, we do vacations. The second thing, most important thing that I want to do is I want to hang out with entrepreneurs. I love, love, love my clients, my events, and my mastermind that I run. I love it. I could do this all day long. I could be on Zoom calls just all day long, helping people, inspiring, educating people. And if I did nothing else on the planet, I'd be happy spending time with my family and entrepreneurs that are motivated, hungry. You got to be hungry entrepreneurs, right? So um i do want to travel a little bit we travel a little bit now we go you know wine tasting tahoe hawaii need to get back to hawaii next year um note to self <laughs> but uh this is you know i don't have huge bucket lists and if you do that's great but let's design the business around the kind of life you want okay so that's really really important that we don't get lost in the shuffle otherwise you're going to get burnout you're going to be burnout so it wasn't always this easy. Of course, you know, I was in a job I hated. I had an unsupportive first marriage, by the way. I had a starter husband who didn't really understand what I was doing and didn't want to understand what I was doing. And all he wanted to do was go to work, come home, eat dinner, drink a beer, go to bed, get up, go to work, come back and do it again, right? And he was not cool with the roller coaster of cash flow. And that's when I started my business. So it was a little hard for him. Um, and, but he didn't have faith. He didn't have faith in me. He didn't, uh, really, um, you know, believe in me. And so it was really hard those first few years to, to stay motivated and stay and on top of that. And I run into a lot of women and men, some men who have that same problem at home and it breaks my heart because I really want you to be fully in love in your personal life, as well as make a lots of money in your business. That's all about love and money, right? So if, if you're not being supported or have love in your life, please, you've got to do something about it. You can um, have better communication. I can give you some words to perhaps, you know, talk to your significant other. I'm really good with that. Um, but maybe you need to schedule more time, whatever. Maybe you're single and you need to date. When I was dating, oh my God, I had a whole system for online dating and marketing myself. It was really funny. I, I'll have to tell you another time. But uh, but yeah, so I turned things around. I developed 
over the last 15 years, a lot of products, um, a lot of online trainings. I have online, uh, I've raised my rates many times. You can raise, keep raising your rates, by the way, just so you know. Uh, I always say like, charge as much as you can say without stuttering, okay? If you always say, well, how much should my program be? Well, as much as you can say without stuttering, frankly. Because when you start stuttering, then they won't buy. Because then they're like, hmm, I don't know if she believes what she's saying, right? So believing in yourself is huge when it comes to business. And then taking action. You can't just sit on, you have to make quick, you know, quick informed decisions, right? So, uh, and then keep moving. Otherwise, you're just going to stay stagnant and it's going to take you forever to grow the business. And that's not good. All right, so we need to develop leverage streams of income, lots of different marketing strategies. So I'm showing you this. This is an old funnel of mine. Um, and when I, when I say funnel, there's two different kinds of funnels out there now. This is more of a product funnel, so it shows the different offerings that I have. And so you want to have a funnel of at least three or four or five different offerings, different price points. You're going to want some free stuff. You're gonna want stuff for under a hundred bucks perhaps or under a couple hundred bucks and I call that easy yes offers. Anything under $200 is more of an easy yes offer, okay? So it's important to figure out what are some things that the, your ideal clients want that you can give them quickly and easily. Not a six week course or a six month course. Yes, you wanna have those potentially and you want higher price things, but so you wanna think about what you're selling in a couple different ways. First is like the first meeting, especially out at live events. When you're at live events, what can you sell at a live event to somebody who just met you, you might have had a five or 20 minute conversation and they're hot for what you have. They are ready and hot, right? Now, there's two things to think about. You can either sell them into something today and take their money and have an order form, like I just had at the, um, some of you were at the Rockstar Marketing Bootcamp, like the order forms, right? So I had a special offer there where it was like 197 and you got an hour call with me. You, got, you can bundle things too. That's the beauty of it. So you want to have things for sale that might be on your website. But when you're at live events, the beauty of an order form is to make a special offer. So something that you, they normally can't buy on your website. It's more of a try you out type of an offer. I usually always, not always, but usually most of the time I have a one hour call or a 30 minute call in that package. And my one, frankly, I can, I charge some people up to $600 an hour. Okay. So I know that my time is valued more than $197 for a one-time call or even that plus an event and a training for God's sakes, right? I know that my time is more valuable than that. That's not the point. I'm not going to do that over and over and over again with the person. I just want them to try me out. I want them to come and experience a call with me where I can wow them and then they're going to go like, oh my God, you gave me so much in an hour for that price. What else you got? right? And that's when you turn it into a sales conversation and say, well, now you can do this or you can do that if you want to continue, right? So, but having that easy yes offer, having that initial try you out offer is so critical to making sales on a daily basis, you guys. You guys can make money every day if you're prepared with an order form, wherever you go. Sometimes I have two or three different order forms, mostly the ones that I've given you. So I gave you three different order forms and uh, let's look at those real quick. Uh, let's see. So they're in the chat room. Hi, Suzanne. I see you. Okay. Da, 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 da. One. Here's one. And I need to make it bigger. So this is the one on PowerPoint. And this is where you have, can you all see that? Uh, somebody unmute and tell me if you can't. Can you not see it? Wait, I'm not sharing. Okay, wait. Gotcha. Okay, now you should be able to see. Okay, so I just put it over the PowerPoint. So here, here's one of the order forms. This is one that's good for if you have a one package thing. This is all one deal. Okay, now this is not an easy yes offer. This is a special, like, join my book compilation thing. Okay, so it's, it's a, th a little over $1,000 to invest in this. But you could do this with an easy yes offer. 
you could put a 197 package in here and then tell them what they're getting and bullet point the bonuses and everything and then put the price all right and then uh but you this is like a order form you would create if you have one thing you want to offer or maybe you have a signature home study program or maybe you have one live event every year or a high-end retreat or something you might put it on this kind of an order form okay with one call to action on it all right now notice down here it also says uh fill in your name email and phone number if you'd like to have a conversation first so if they're interested if they take the order form and they're interested but they're not willing to buy today you can offer this and they can just fill this out and give this back to you like a lead form then you can use it as a lead form okay so that's like one idea of what you could be selling so it could be a high-end retreat for five thousand dollars it could be your annual coaching program for twenty thousand dollars it could be a special easy yes offer for 97 bucks and you're just including a lot of stuff here or explaining what it is it could be a six-week course that you run you can put it here okay so you know you don't have to develop this on powerpoint i just got a template from somebody else a while back and i kind of liked the way it was so notice the way that i gave it to you you could actually take it and you could make it, um, you could, all you have to do is shrink these boxes in here and then shrink doo -doo -doo, the form. So I could make it two bigger offers if I wanted to. See how I did that? And then I could take away some of this stuff. So if I really wanted to make two offers, then I could put some stuff in here and put some stuff in there. Now I'm pretty, you know, I, I'm pretty good with graphics and stuff. And if you're not, then you give this to an assistant and they do it for you. Okay. But look how easy it is to create two different offers or one. Another thing you can put in here is like, I just want to get your email newsletters, you know, and then they can check a box to put email newsletters here if they don't want to buy the thing. Or what I've also seen done is they'll have the low price offer up here. Like if you're speaking from stage, then you might have the low price offer here for say uh you know 297 and then this is your high end uh and so this is your you know come work with me for a ten thousand dollar day with me okay honestly like i <laughs> i actually bought something from someone like this before Okay, so you might have a form that has the, this is what you sell from stage. Now you would fill in the whole box, obviously. But say this is 297 from stage, right? And then, oh, and by the way, if you'd rather have a $10,000 with me, just click this box and fill the form out. I did that with someone, but it was 18,000, okay? So I actually did an 18,000 day with somebody instead of their $1,500 offer. But they didn't mention the $18,000 day from the stage, they just put it, conveniently on this little form that they passed out. So get creative with it. You never know what people are going to buy. You know, she got an $18,000 sale from me instead of 1500 because she put it on her form. All right. So come on, right? Let's, uh, let's get creative people. So I want you to, let's see, escape that. I need to go to the other one. Okay. Do -do -do. So this other form, So this one is more of the easy yes offer, and this is done in Word. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be rocket science either. It can just be simple, a checkbox. Yes, sign me up for the package today. This is the one I use most, um, that I've used mostly this year so far with a one hour call with me, um, and a ticket to one of my events, which is coming up November, um, or they could do the spring, but I was really trying to push the November event. And then a bonus of one of my books, because usually I do this in, I do this in person, right? So I usually have a display on my table, or I always bring three to five of my of each of my books with me everywhere I go. I always bring books, or you're never going to sell them, right? So I give books, and then I also have an online training, so it's a video training. So altogether, that is the true value because I have I do have people who pay me six hundred bucks an hour, and the regular price of the event is like five hundred dollars. So it's but it's 197, so that's the easy yes thing. So usually if someone's remotely interested in me, they will 
do this because it's a good try me out. And whether they're, uh, they want to come to the event or they want to just buy it for the one-on-one -on -one, or they want the online training, it's worth it for any of the components of this offer. They don't have to take advantage of all of it. Notice though that I also put like a couple a la carte things. Okay, I'm going to pass on this offer, but please sign me up for um, free business video tips or just the event by, by itself or a book books um, or the International Entrepreneur Network for the $7 a month. And then I have a couple online. Um, and then I have, uh, I've, I put in a private coaching three call package for 750 because a lot of times at events, I will talk to somebody and I'll be like, um, you know, if we just had a couple hours, two or three hours, we could really hammer this stuff home for you. We could get this all sorted out. So I found that having a three call package at this lower rate um, works and I do sell them at live events in even in just a 10 minute conversation okay so um, having an order form like this now you don't have to have all these all the cart things here you can make it very simple but I like to not have a gazillion forms on my table and uh, and make it easy for people so this last one is more of an a la carte form that you have access to and it, if you have a lot of things for sale, right? So this one has my event on it. It has two different options for coaching. It has like a three month discounted three month. It has a one-time call. I have web design services on here, techie VA services. We do that too. I have a couple do it yourself trainings. My, um, just the lower end ones are on here really, but I have some higher, oh, I have the higher ones too. The, the speaker training, the um, business, compilation book that you saw the other order form and then I have just little things like book bundles and books and then seven dollars a month so you can have an a la carte form depending on what you have for sale okay so these are so important you guys to get these order forms done ready to go so you can just print and go now I don't print these as an NCR which is the two or three part usually um, unless I'm at my own live event or I'm at a place where I have to split commissions with somebody or sell from stage at somebody else's event, then I'll print a two part or a three part form. Otherwise I'll just stick, you know, um, printer paper in my printer and go from there. So I know I went over those really fast, but you can watch the replay and, um, and, and continue on with that. I want to keep going. So, I wanna, so know what you're selling, right? And so the goal is to get, if you can get more people from the things you're doing on an everyday basis, then you're going to have a lot more people to follow up from and to sell into higher end programs from there. Okay. So you don't have to have 40 different offerings. Okay. In fact, I'm, I keep it a lot more simple these days. I don't, I do offer some of these programs and they're going into more of a jumpstart your biz school coming up this fall. So anyways, <sighs> That's a lot, I know. <laughs> uh, so hopefully you realize you might have to change a few things about maybe what you're selling, offer some different things, have some special offers. <coughs> um, so secondly, we wanna talk about your marketing, right? Three simple steps to get more clients <coughs> and make more money. Uh, you gotta get in front of more people. You gotta make it easier for them to buy and then you gotta create your follow-up system and your sales system. So you got to use your website as your hub um, is critical and make it easy. There's three types of marketing I want to talk about. New business marketing, database marketing, and referral source marketing. Uh, new business is when you're going after the ideal client, okay? All of these, though, require slightly different marketing messages, the wording that you're going to say, whether it's an email or a post or a phone call or a postcard or um, social media. All of them require slightly different wording. Mo the mistake people make is they try to create just one page for everybody, right, on your website, or one email for everybody. But think about segmenting your list and your prospects into the people that are new business, new people, new people that are just experiencing you, um, some of the new business tactics we're going to get to on the next slide. The database marketing of the people that already know you. So they could be the people already on your email list. They could be people in your LinkedIn that you're connected to or your Facebook friends uh, or people inside groups that you belong to even. I consider your database, even like if you are in a group on Facebook nowadays, so and say there's a thousand people in this group and you're not the, you're not the organizer of it. 
I don't recommend you take their emails and stick them on your email list. That's not what I'm saying, but you can market to those people in a very non salesy way. So they're people that you're connected to. They're kind of like, you know, uh, they're connected because, Hey, I'm in the group blank. I'm in this, uh, X, Y, Z group with you on Facebook. So you are already like connected. So it's a warm connection instead of a cold connection. Whereas if you go knocking on doors or sending out direct mail to a geographical list, that's a cold, that's a cold um, uh, prospecting strategy, right? So then the referral source marketing is when you might have people that you currently know that are great referral sources, but you're not asking them enough to refer you business or share your stuff. Okay, so you've got to ask them more often or make it easy for them to promote you. Like for my event, I have a whole page on my website for marketing copy, swipe copy. So if someone wanted to promote my event, you know, and I do ask people inside my groups uh, that I belong to, I say, who wants to promote my stuff? I'll give you some marketing copy. So I send them the link and then they can copy paste and send and post things. And then, so those are the three types of marketing. So think about everything that you're doing in those different ways if you can. Now this is the marketing wheel that I cover at my live events here, and it's a little overwhelming, I get it. So, but you wanna pick the top five things that work for you, right? We talked about the top five things. Now, honestly, I think live events, everybody should be going to live events, whether it's a big conference or a local meeting in your area, or you have your own um, meetup or event, Live events is really the number one thing you should be focused on if you really need to generate more clients quickly because it's there's nothing better than an in-person connection. Now the second thing I think is virtual events. Okay, so this type of marketing, whether it's a webinar and you're giving a presentation or you're attending something where you can be interactive. Notice that we're on Zoom here. You all can see each other. You can go to the chat room and you can open up the chat and you can talk to each person that's on here live individually right now live on the spot. This is why you want to show up live and not just watch the replay of these things. I go to probably, I don't know, 10 different Zoom calls a month at least. And I don't usually go to the ones where someone presents like this. But I, unless I can be interactive while I'm doing it and learning, okay? So be really particular about which things you're on. It's not just about listening to a webinar. It's not just about listening to a training unless you really, really need that content, right? Um, it's better, if you wanna be getting clients, it's about the interaction ability and the visibility you can get on the virtual event itself. So whether you're hosting it or you're attending, I'm an attendee on at least 10 events a month on Zoom, by the way. So it's the new networking, all right? And then uh, social media, of course, we all need to be there. What do you need to be doing? Uh, direct mail, speaking, and follow-up. And then phone call. Well, phone calls really goes under follow-up, and direct mail can go under follow-up. I don't expect a lot of you to just direct mail cold call, but direct mail follow-up with postcards or note cards or thank you cards or birthday cards or holiday cards. Uh, direct mail is really, really important to add, you guys, okay? Um, and then being an exhibitor. So live events includes either being the speaker at the live event or an exhibitor at the live event or an attendee. All of the above are great. Uh, speaking, obviously, you've got more credibility. Exhibitor, you've got a lot more exposure and opportunity as well to collect leads and, you're okay, and it's okay for you to market. Right? As an attendee, if there are speakers and exhibitors there, it's not as easy for you to just go around with your order forms, right? Because sometimes they frown on that. So you have to be really uh, sly with what you're doing, but you can still do it. I've sold a $40,000 mastermind at somebody else's enrollment event, okay? Because I sat to lunch with somebody and they loved me and they wanted to hire me and not them. And I said, okay, well, here's my mastermind information. And I had an application with me and everything because I always prepared to sell everything everywhere I go, frankly. And she signed up right there and gave me her credit card. And it was a $40,000 client. Hello. I mean, so being prepared with these order forms and different things is critical. All right. So database marketing activities that are, if you put, some of these into your day-to-day -day activities. This is really key. Yeah, you can take a picture of the screen if you want. Um, 
So this is where most businesses fail to do enough. Okay. You don't follow up enough from the events. You may follow up with two people instead of all 20 that you met. Um, special sales and promotions. You don't have them often, right? Like let's make sure we have a couple special sales throughout the year or get creative and really plan your year out ahead of time. Not last minute when you need some cash flow. You've got to pick up the phone, you guys. You've got to use the phone. I don't care. Like I have a landline, okay? I use the phone. I call people back. Nowadays, in fact, I'm even doing um, more phone broadcasts. So if you meet a lot of, I meet a lot of people. Sometimes I'll come back with 50 people from this event, and two days later, another 50 people, and the following week, another 50 people. I don't have time to call 150 people back efficiently, quickly, okay? Because you gotta get them when they're hot. So I have my assistant put them into a system now that I can call and leave a voicemail to all 50 at the same time. And so there's a few resources for that. Uh, I'm started, I was using um, Simple Blast, but that one goes to, it allows people to pick up live and I'm found that that was a problem. So I'm gonna try using Sly Dial or Sly Broadcast or whatever, S-L-Y. And that one is supposed to go straight to voicemail. So just an FYI, that it could be an efficient way for you to do some more phone calling. You can take your database, but you gotta start collecting phone numbers, right? A lot of us just collect name and email, don't do that. You gotta start getting full contact information. So when you're at live events or or on your order forms, you've got to get um, phone numbers. You've got to get phone numbers. You've got to ask for the phone numbers and the full contact and the mailing uh, address as well. Um, send fun things in the mail, you guys. Um, do Zoom calls like this. Do more Q&A calls. There's a lot of things you could do. Referral source marketing. Um, figure out how to do more collaborations. A lot of times I'm putting calls on the calendar with people who are who would be great joint venture partners and collaboration partners, all right? And so always be on the lookout. On these kinds of calls especially, you might find some good collaboration partners. There's a couple of you that might be good to collaborate with. You should then schedule a phone call offline and you know, when are you available, get on each other's calendars in a couple weeks or something, have a 30 minute conversation and then each of you share, I call it a get to know you call, right? And each of you would share a little bit about what you're doing, what you're focusing on in the next six to 12 months, and then who you're, who you're working with. Don't treat each other like prospects. Treat each other like referral sources, okay? First, that's what you do on these kinds of calls. You treat each other like referral sources, and then find out what they're focusing on. You don't have to give your whole spiel of how you help people. This is, you know, I'm, I'm doing a book, uh, compilation, I have an event, I'm looking for speakers and attendees, and I have uh, the International Entrepreneur Network that I'm looking to fill with another couple hundred people before the end of the year, right? Those are the things on my radar, for example, for this last quarter, right? So if someone was listening to me on a call, they'd be like, ooh, that entrepreneur thing, I bet I can help you fill that. And so they could maybe, they could maybe help me promote that, and maybe I can promote their book launch, okay? So you've gotta figure out win-win scenarios for these joint venture collaboration people because that's gonna get you in front of a lot of people without a lot of effort or, or expense. Um, and then if you don't have live events, think about having a small event or even a virtual event where you can offer a guest appearance to somebody. So in exchange for you being a guest on somebody's uh, webinar, teleclass, or even a Facebook Live in front of their 3,000 friends, okay? So there's a lot of different ways that are free where you guys can refer back each other um, back and forth or um, collaborate in some way. Obviously look for podcast interviews and radio interviews and things like that. I don't know that I would recommend starting a podcast just to do stage swaps. It's not necessarily something I would recommend in the beginning of your business, um, a radio show or a podcast, because it's a lot of work for not a lot of money. Um, until you really become known. So that's just a little side note. Um, uh, here's some, you know, clients of mine. I don't want to spend too much time. I'm, I'm sure you know that I have a ton of clients with a ton of people that have I've helped and all that kind of stuff. But Linda, like when she came to me, she was 72. She's so cute. And she was not doing her follow-up phone calls or video, frankly. And she was deathly afraid of doing them. And literally within the first four phone calls she made when I finally got her, 
to make follow-up phone calls, which took like seven months of working on her, frankly. Um, she made a $2,500 sale, that one call, you know, so you've got to do these follow-up phone calls. People say it to me all the time. Oh, I was just thinking about you, Katrina. I'm so excited that you just called me. I hear it all the time. And then video, she's like, my neck's all wrinkly. I don't like my neck. I'm not going to do video. I said, put a scarf around it and go. You know, you got to get rid of these excuses. You got to get rid of the excuses with whatever it is you think you're stuck with and just figure out how to do it in any ways, you know? And Helen's the same way. Now she's rocking and rolling and she's got a whole team full of people that are helping her with the technology because she's not into the technology part, right? So just got to outsource and delegate the things that are not your jam. So this is where templates come in handy, systems like Google Calendar, scripts, uh, and having a team can really be helpful. You've got to delegate. What can you tweak? Here's some stuff to do when you look at your website. Um, I don't want to get into too much. You might just take a picture of this, but um, God, I could be here for hours, you guys, honestly. And I know we're towards the end of the time, and I want to give you some time for Q&A. Um, but your website needs to be the hub of your business. If you don't have all this on your website, then you are missing the boat. You need to tweak some things on your website. And I love doing website calls with people, you guys. So if, uh, if you're interested in doing a call with me, like I'm going to give you an, a chance at the end, then it might be to go fix your website because you don't want to do a whole bunch of marketing to, in getting people to your website if your website is not ready for that, that amount of leads yet, okay? And we have a whole techie team that can, that can fix your website. So here's some options if you guys are interested in doing some things with me. Uh, so I mentioned I have an event coming up. It's in like four weeks. It's in Los Angeles. It's on November 7, uh, 7 8, and 9. You can come to the event right now. It's online for one ninety seven. You can buy some books if you want. If you just like to read books, I have a, a three different books on my product page on my website. Uh, the Entrepreneur Network, I swear to God, we have three calls a month on Zoom where it's open Q&A, hot seats. There's no me talking at you. It's all coaching um, with everybody, not just me coaching for seven bucks a month. So you definitely want to join that uh, if you're interested. Uh, and that's on the homepage of my website. You can get to that. Uh, coaching and strategy, if you want a three call package, let's do it. 750 bucks. If you want a new website, you know, talk to me. We can talk about that. But this, the easy yes offer I was going to make today is a one-time call with me with whatever you want to talk about, a ticket to my event, either in November or the spring. I don't have the dates for that yet, but if you can't come in November, you can come in spring. Um, plus four of my online trainings, one all about making money. So it's marketing stuff. One about getting booked, which is a speaker ebook, audio and checklist. Um, it also talks about your speaker sheet and what you need on it and all that. It has a template for that. My delegating ebook and checklist, and then my follow-up flow chart and audio training for how to follow up. Um, it's my whole follow-up system. I'm telling you, it's, it's amazing. And it's an hour training on that. You'll know exactly what to say. I talk about the what, what do you say, and all that kind of thing. Um, and so that is over $1,300 in value. And it's $297 for you guys. So 297, you can go to tinyurl.com forward slash NOV 2019 SO. And I put, I know it's October, but I put November because I was thinking the event. <laughs> and, uh, but if you go to that link and I'll put it in the chat room as well, uh, you are welcome to do. And what we can do whoop, on a call, we can do so much stuff. How to make the most of your marketing dollars. We can talk about your scheduling. We can talk about your website. Uh, we can talk about getting publicity, writing a book, becoming a speaker, your forms, your shopping cart, your system, your technology. We can talk about wording on your website or your marketing copy, the wording you put in an email, the pricing and packaging, the things that you're selling, uh, how to hire someone, how to do all this. Honestly, I've been doing, this is all, I do all of this with clients because it all has to do with making money in your business. Um, the event in November is going to be great. It's got laser coaching, masterminding. You're going to get the roadmap. There's hot seats. People make offers at my events. They get to make money. And I actually force you to make money in a nice way. And I teach you how to do that. So you come with an offer and you come with your order forms and people give you credit cards and you make money. So here's my roadmap here. It's my three-year entrepreneur evolution plan. Um, and I explain that and you get a copy of that at the event. 
We do have a half day bonus day um, if you want a VIP on that Sunday, but you certainly don't have to do that. Um, and again, you get all of this um, and the special offers here. So I am gonna put this link, stop sharing, cause I know you guys wanna talk a little bit more and I see some new faces, yay. Can we get a copy of the PowerPoint? <clears throat> Are those current prices on my funnel? That was not my current prices on my funnel, okay. Um, so let's see, seminar, oh good. So Gary's putting his seminar in here, good for you. That's the way to market, he knows what he's doing. Those of you who did came a little late, I'm gonna, um, if you guys have questions, just unmute yourself. If you came a little late, I'm gonna put the links to those order forms again in here. So I'm giving you three order forms. I went over them earlier. You can look and see what to use when, but I'll put the links in here again so you can download them from the chat. Uh, let's see, oh, I need to put the special offer link in here. Somehow, some way. Okay, so who has questions? Anybody? Raise your hand. Nobody? You're like, oh my God. Yeah, Michelle, unmute. Can you just say what the five top things were? One more time, just the words. Sure, so live events, um, which in really includes speaking, exhibiting, and attending, right? Uh, the virtual events and then uh, social media now there's so much more to talk about with social media like you'd be here for five hours if I really got into the depth so the thing to know about social media is well, let me give you the five and then so um, then it was kind of like a pick the other couple for you so it depends on your industry so um, some of you need to be doing a uh, a lot more publicity. Let me go back to that slide and I'll show you. Publicity is actually very easy to get. Oh, I said um, follow up. And so follow up includes four different ways to follow up from mostly from live event, but follow up can include the autoresponders that you send online when someone signs up to. It can include phone call, so phone call, email. Um, direct mail and social media. Those are the four ways to follow up. Although I'm adding text message marketing too. That's not in some of my trainings. So sometimes we need to start getting text message marketing going, um, but that does have to be an opted in thing. Okay. So we've got live events, virtual events, social media, follow up because nobody does enough follow up. Um, and then really it kind of depends on your industry, but you could add affiliate marketing some people want to be more online marketers and so affiliate marketing might be your fifth um, some of you might be want to be more in the media so then publicity might be the fifth all of you should be speaking more and really that needs to be its own strategy speaking is its own strategy than just lumping it into live events okay so speaking really is critical whether you're speaking um, on something like this, or you're speaking in a live event, whether you're speaking on someone else's stage or at a conference or host your own event, speaking is so important, you guys. So yeah, is that enough? <laughs> <coughs> All right, what other questions? Anybody have anything? Are y'all typing away? Are y'all, your heads roll, your eyes roll back in your head? What? What's going on out there? Maybe you don't have a question. Maybe you have a, how do I do this question? I mean, you could ask me, how do you do this? I'm happy to stick around for a few more minutes. If you have, if you have to go, you have to go. But if you have, like, how do you do this for my business questions? Unmute yourself and say hello. You're all muted, by the way. So I can't do hear you. you. Have, do you have a staff? that we can work with to do the social media posting, all that time consuming stuff? Yes, so we have a techie team, Jumpstart Your Techie Services, and I designed it because so many of my clients were uh, at a loss of where to go to find a virtual assistant, frankly, and you can't just these days find one virtual assistant because they all do so many different things. Mm -hmm. So the key with, um, with, 
virtual assistants and delegating is you need more than one usually, but you got to develop your list first. You got to mm -hmm. uh, develop your list of um, what you need done. Mm -hmm. If you know you just need social media, then um, the reason that I took it on for some of my clients, and yes, I'm going to give you that uh, need number worksheet. Let me get that in the chat for you. Um, the reason I do it for my clients is because they didn't really know how to delegate. So, and I know how to delegate. I know how to pick the right people and I know how to tell people what to do. And I'm, I'm part techie, part, you know, non techie. Um, and so I can have a conversation with a virtual assistant and explain what my client needs. So I'm become then the project manager. Okay. Of the, of the delegating thing. So if you go through my company, you can certainly hire a social media person, um, need number worksheet on your own. And I'm happy to give you some referrals, but then you have to hope that they're the strategy type of people who are going to discuss with you. Cause you really, whatever, whatever kind of VA you hire, you need to have a, I say a weekly meeting with them, frankly, especially in the first 90 days, you need a weekly meeting with your VA in the first 90 days. Now it might be an hour, an hour, an hour, then 30 minutes, 30 minutes, and then it might be a 10 minute conversation from there on out, but still do it because you're going to have different expectations than they will. They're going to have uh, different ways of working. You're going to have to work out that relationship on how you're delegating and um, how you're getting stuff done. And, and you may not fully remember how to, or you may not know how to really explain when you need stuff, right? And I'm the kind of person that hires someone and then just sends them 30 emails a day, like, blah, oh, blah, oh, blah, you know, like, and then they have to figure out how to organize it on the other end. So the first, one of the first assistants I had, after two years, she came to me, she's like, I just can't do it anymore. I don't like being sent emails like this all, you know, all day long and da, da, da. I'm like, well, why didn't you say something to me? <laughs> you know, like, we gotta work this out a long time ago. Instead, she suffered in silence, you know? They don't always, sometimes virtual assistants don't always wanna speak up or they wanna please too much and they don't say no to things that they shouldn't be doing or don't like to do, so. The long answer to your question, PK, is yes, we have social media people, but I can also refer them and they can do various things and I can help you with that uh, project management wise with a call once a month. So you talk to me and then we delegate out. Yeah. Okay, so make sure you guys are putting stuff in the chat room because I will save the chat room too. Uh, and then copy the chat. You know, on the bottom of the chat room, there's those three little dots and you can click it and open it up and it says save chat. If you click the button that says save chat, it should save it to your computer. If you're on a, a laptop or a computer, I don't know if it does it on a phone or a um, tablet, um, but you'll get the chat room notes with the recording, by the way. Um, an odd glitch with my security verification. Yeah, it's not, it's not accepting I'm not a robot. Oh, is it, did you try to the special offer link? The one where you were giving us the form to the needs worksheet. The need number worksheet? Oh. Yeah. it's It keeps coming back to click here, I'm not a robot, but then it doesn't give us pictures to click on. But then when you hit submit, it just circles back to I'm not a robot, please click here. <laughs> Um, it should look like this, this is what you're saying, and then you get and you enter the information here and it's not working? It's not. Um, when you click, you put all that stuff in, and then it wants you to say, I'm not a robot, but sometimes they give you pictures to click on to prove yeah, you're yeah. not a robot, but it's not giving us any pictures, and when we just click the box and do, I'm not a robot, it goes back to the other. So try clicking, I'm not a robot, and click submit, mm. and it's just looping back to, I'm not a robot. No. Mm. Oh my lord, how did it work on you? I don't know. Maybe you need to reboot. All right, I'll try but, uh, it. I'll go back in there. Maybe it's because you already have my email address. I don't think so. It should work. Okay. Maybe you just need to refresh the screen or something. But yeah. you never know. I mean, this is why your website needs to be the hub of your business, and you always, always need to check your forms because yeah. every once in a while, like three months ago, will go by, and you're like, all of a sudden your form doesn't work anymore. It's like, what? I didn't touch it. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Other it questions? Worked. 
I was gonna say it worked for me earlier today, but sometimes try a different browser. I, oh yeah, Chrome is really good for most stuff these days. So <sighs> Chrome, yeah. Okay, any other questions? Um, we got the document. Do you recommend one hosting company over another for your website? You know, I am, uh, Suzanne said it worked for her. Okay, so I don't get into the hosting as much, but I rely on my techie team to tell me these things and they okay. absolutely hate GoDaddy. All of them hate GoDaddy, hate, hate, hate with a capital H A T E. And so they put everybody on uh, and recommend that everybody go to Bluehost or uh, some, they all like Bluehost right now. So I'm moving actually to Bluehost for my hosting because uh, we're building out a new web page. We're building out a whole jumpstartyourbizschool.com website for all the products and memberships. And then we're going to have a, a more simplified Katrina Sawa jumpstart your marketing site, which if it can ever be, I don't know. Are you using one shopping cart or infusion soft keep uh right now i use one shopping cart um we are moving that as well uh because of the system that i use for offline leads so when i come back from an event i literally have hundreds of little fill-in forms or order forms mm -hmm. and to enter them into one shopping cart um you can't just what well, the system would the perfect system is you give the forms to your assistant and they enter them into an Excel spreadsheet with all the details and everything. And then you upload the Excel spreadsheet to whatever database you're using or shopping cart. Mm -hmm. That's the ideal system. But you can't do that with one shopping cart because they will block you. Or So you have to, have, to, you have to send them an email with the form and then hopefully two, by two weeks later they might upload it. So I, I have a workaround around that, however. Are you in one shopping cart and you're asking? I was, and then I went to Infusionsoft to keep, but it's causing problems. A lot of people are bailing from Infusionsoft right now, and I bailed a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. um, but I'm hearing a lot of my uh, coaching friends that are like, ah, I've got to get out of Infusionsoft. So be careful because they just switched names, and I think they changed a bunch of things. And uh, if I know some of these online marketers are bailing, I would definitely not go there. Recommend it. I don't usually yeah. recommend it. I'm already, I'm already in there and it costs me more than my, my one shopping cart cost me back when Allie got me started on one shopping cart. I know. I know. Yeah. One shopping cart's not bad. I honestly do have a workaround where I'm creating a web form for the opt-ins and then we put it on a page and then my assistant just enters them into the opt-in and does that captcha thing like back and forth. And that's What's his I name? Uh, who? You're petting. Oh, this is Jake. Hi, Jake. <laughs> Jake, the, our rescue German Shepherd. He, he, he's very needy. <laughs> Anyhow, there's other carts there too. I think honestly, we're moving to Sam Cart. I think we're moving to Sam Cart and then um, maybe Agile CRM. Uh, the problem, the reason I was in one shopping cart is because I wanted one system. I don't want 14 different systems and logging for this over here and the database over here and take money over here and blah, blah, blah over here because that's a nightmare. And it's, if you're not techie, you're even more confused. Who's behind Sam cart? Uh, who's behind? I don't know. It's not Sam's club. Oh, is I, it? I have no idea. I hope I'll, I'll check into it. But no, I had my assistants do a whole bunch of you know, and, and don't just take my word for it here because I like, I don't recommend technology unless I know what you're selling, what, what your process is for your business and how you want to really run your, your lead generation, marketing, follow up and sales processes. And then we determine the right technology for you. Okay. So just know, be careful with Infusionsoft and all the expensive ones like Kartra and Kajabi and Entreport and ClickFunnels. Mm -hmm. they, they're definitely not the ones you want to start out with usually uh, unless you're super techie or unless you have 500 to a thousand dollars a month to spend on your assistant okay to manage it seriously like mm -hmm. look seriously <laughs> so I don't usually recommend it unless you're making over a hundred thousand dollars a year already then you go to those kinds of things but there are very inexpensive ways to manage your product sales um, and your database marketing, your autoresponders, your online forms, all that stuff that needs to be in the website and make your, make your systems go. There's a lot of different uh, combinations of systems that can work for you. But don't just listen to any VA because they'll, they'll just tell you the one that they like. They'll just mm -hmm. tell you you're their favorite. 
right? The web designer you use might tell you his favorite, but they won't give you options and they won't strategize with you based on what you're selling. And so then you might get the, into the wrong thing. So that's, technology is one of those things that you got to have someone like me who can really look at everything you're doing and then advise you, you know? So, yeah. What are there, any other questions? You guys are hanging out. So you must have <laughs> to chat about. Otherwise you'd be <laughs> flies so we're we're done but uh so if you missed the beginning of the webinar you can go back and watch it um, but, somebody hi monique how are you <laughs> i had to work so i That's just okay. got here but i can watch it thank you oh good and i see jacqueline's on and then we've got barbara beckley is <laughs> hanging out and yvonne is on the east coast it's late there <laughs> Anybody want to come on and say hi? You guys should know each other. Like, okay, so PK does uh, feng shui, and she has an online. She's been in business for a gazillion years, just like me. Uh, Michelle, and, and she's I don't do what you might have read about feng shui. There's no one size fits all in real exactly. feng shui. Exactly. Thank you. Um, Michelle's starting a new business, trying to figure it all out, right? And uh, who's coming to the event in November already? I think uh, Michelle's coming. Are you doing a drawing on this call? Oh, I was doing a drawing. Yes. Wow. And I, the winner is. And the winner is. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. You know, with the Facebook jail, I totally like I can't even remind people to come to the thing. It's very frustrating. So, you know what? I am going I'm going over to my list and I'm going to just close my eyes and pick somebody right now. And it is over here. And it is, ah, Barbara, how did I pick on you? And you're right here in quietness. I picked on you, Barbara Beckley. Can you come on live? You are the winner. <laughs> you're here. You're here. I swear to God, I closed my eyes and I put my thing or my cursor right on her picture. Barbara, can you come on? I know she's a bestseller. Look at her picture. Okay. Well, I have to contact you later. Maybe you're doing something on the slide. I don't know. So Barbara Beckley is the winner. Of what? I do without you here. <laughs> What's uh, the winner of what? What'd you say? Uh, winner of what? I, I didn't know anything so, about it. Okay. So the, <laughs> when you do a live event, you, there's so many different ways to market, right? So I've been at live events. Uh, I'm doing this webinar to hopefully encourage you guys to come to my event in November, right? If you're not already signed up. Uh, and then I did a Facebook ad campaign for a, um, a free VIP ticket to my event. And that's what we're talking about, that Barbara just won. So that means she can come oh. all three days plus the half half day on the 10th as well, which we're going to do a mastermind for. So, um, to, um, so I did talk about it. You guys can get a ticket just by itself at 197. It's in California, right? It's in Los Angeles. Yep. Yeah. And if you want, I will, uh, let me just take you over to the page. I don't do webinars very often. <laughs> what part of LA is it in? It's right by LAX. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it's at the Four Point Sheraton. So here's the event page. If you go to Jumpstart Your Biz in a Weekend. Um, oh, jeez. Uh-oh, is he okay? My dog. My dog is such a scaredy cat of the tile floor. He's Aww. freaking out. I know, right? Shorten his nails. I could, know. It, yeah. We need to cup him. But no, he slipped around a couple times and now he's just scared to walk around. Yeah. So I just put the link in the chat room too for the event. Uh, but the, so here's the event. There's a couple of videos you can watch. It's November 7, 8, 9. Um, we talk about so many different things. I, everything that we talked about tonight on the webinar, we go deep on. We go deep on what you're selling, creating your funnel, your offers, your pricing. We talk about... Um, so all the marketing. So that whole marketing wheel, I cover almost all of those things more in depthly so you know how to implement them. Because frankly, I do almost all of those myself every month. Okay. But I didn't start that way doing them. You start by like the first 
four or five things and then you add a couple things a year and then by year 17 like me you'll be doing 20 or 30 different marketing strategies whether you like it or not because you really if you want to make more money you got to do more stuff mm -hmm. so the first day we're really talking about what you're selling what you're doing um, then we have maximizing your lead generation activities we talk about getting clients the follow-up system the three types of marketing we talk about sales conversations and really how to finesse those, whether you're in person or on a, a sales conversation over the phone. Um, we have all kinds of list building strategies. We talk about uh, systematizing for more freedom. So we talk about time, managing your time, your calendar. You know, I live by my Google calendar. Here's just a snapshot, you know, and there's, I'm super, super organized, you guys. So this is my calendar i live and die by this now i don't have to be so structured if you're not a structure person you could still put in non-structured activities but i have people that flake on calls oh i didn't put it in my calendar how can you run a business without putting stuff in your calendar i don't understand that mm -hmm. so you got to get more organized or you're not going to make more money and you're not going to get the clients if you're not organized so we're going to have a whole funnel creation lab. We're going to have a video practice area where you can practice doing videos and do Facebook lives. We're going to have uh, talk about value pricing versus just hourly pricing. We're going to have a podcast panel where I have some podcasters coming in and people who do podcasting stuff. And uh, do you have to go, Monique? Is that why you're waiting? No, I have a question. Yeah, what's your question? Um, video uh, screen or whatever to put a backdrop on yeah um, do you have any sources or ideas of where I can learn more about how well, to first, that out? it's a series of questions I would ask you because why do you think you need that right I don't need it is it because you feel like you need you have well had the clutter or what I mean yes partially like right here I've got my the the desktop is right behind me and right now I'm just uh, in in front of the little laptop yeah and the little laptop it's not very um, cluttered but if you're looking uh, behind me if I turn around then there's all these it's just a lot of stuff and they say not to have a lot of stuff well I think uh, thanks Michelle you gotta go okay yeah, Barbara, you want? Ha ha, come see us. Uh, so, <laughs> um, but Monique, you could put uh, one of those. I could click on the thing and then you could see what it would look like the other way. Yes. Yeah, just keep trying to position yourself in different ways. You want the light in front of you. So, so if your windows right. are behind you, you definitely don't want them behind you in a video. You want them in front of you during the day. So they can. Uh, you miss it. What's that? Yeah. No, the, the, this is better for that. Did you right. send the link for the, the Zoom meeting or not? Did I send a link? You know, uh, just announcing, oh, the meeting is getting going, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I was just trying to see how I could quickly uh, switch it. I don't know. I can't help you with that at the moment. No, you didn't send. You didn't. Oh, yes, it is right here. Yeah. So anyways, um, right. I wouldn't buy a screen for where your space is, okay? okay. Um, <clears throat> I've seen people put one of those folding things that stand up, the stand up partitions, you could do that. And then you could just hang a nice picture from it or something. So What do you mean stand up partition? <clears throat> I have a partition, but it's not. Hey, uh, I think she's referring to what's called a room dividing screen and it comes in different panels and they're, they have uh, different designs on them and colors hinges that's the word I'm looking for they have hinges on them and you yeah. can make them bigger or littler they even have lightweight ones that are uh, rice paper yeah. and you can well, get them okay. like at world plus market and things yeah like that. so that view that we're seeing now the other view is much better yeah. I would just put a partition or something over there so even if you didn't put a partition yeah I just read the partition this morning <laughs> It just shows that it's like an office room with a sofa. It's not okay. like, yeah. Okay. Don't over <laughs> the key with video is stop over worrying about what it's going to look like. Just start doing video, right? Well, okay. you know what? Yeah, let me just tell you what I've done. I, I have decided to do, let me get rid of this. A video. Can uh, I just go diary. Okay. Some people have to go. A, a video, video diary every day. 
Good. I can get Good. used to it and more relaxed about so, it. Just an FYI, if you did want to sign up for the event, you can just do the event, you guys, for 197 <laughs> Okay. Um, but why not do the 297 and get a one-on-one -on -one call with me, right? So that makes a lot more sense. And you'll get all these bonuses, too. So, yeah, you can do VIP if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, you'll get the follow-up flow chart when you come to the event as well. But that special offer, um, we have a couple speakers. We have Sean Douglas coming, who's going to be talking about mindset, motivation. He's an amazing paid speaker. So he's going to talk about paid speaking, podcasting. He travels all over and speaks in a lot of different places. So he's a really cool person to learn from, and he's so down to earth. Then my friend Susie's going to come talk about publishing and books and being an author. And then I just add another speaker, Melody um, Kemer Harper, who's going to talk about speaking, the business of speaking and being uh, speaking as a platform. Uh, and then we have a podcast panel, right? So it's not focused on multi-speaker, though. It's mostly a training that I'm teaching. So these speakers have like 30, 45 minutes to speak. The rest of the time is just training and hot seats and masterminding and things like that. So you can certainly sign up here for 197 or the VIP tickets 497, or you can go to the special offer, the link that I gave you and just pay 297. You'll get taken to the event information. Uh, thank you Paige. And then I'll know that you signed up and you can actually do a one-on-one -on -one call with me and we'll schedule that. So I just wanted to let you know, the International Entrepreneur Network, if you're not a member of that, you could do that in addition to or just by itself. Just go to iEntrepreneurNetwork.com right here and sign up. And literally, it's seven bucks, mm -hmm. seven bucks a month. And you can sign up for that right now, too. So um, I just wanted to mention that all of your guest speakers are marvelous. They really know their topics. Oh, yes. They're very experienced guest speakers, for sure. Um, I don't bring in a lot of newbie People, I bring in people that we do stage swaps with or joint venture partnerships, people that I know who are also heart-centered and focus on giving lots of great content because I'm not about the, the speaker that gets up and just does their little dog and pony and makes their offer. So um, I don't let anybody on my stage like that. So anywho, that's the event. Love for you guys to join us if you're not already signed up. Um, and Gary says, very informative, have to go. I know we're way over time. You guys are just hanging out. I'll just hang out with you. You know, this is one of my favorite things to do. So <laughs> I know some of you are already in the International Entrepreneur Network, but those of you who aren't, you should come and join. I think almost It's good. Days. It's very good. Thank you. And I got to go. I didn't realize it's 530. I know. Okay. Bye, dear. Thanks I'm glad here. you guys were Congratulations here. Congratulations to Barbara. And I'll be in touch with you, Barbara, on email. And, um... And yeah, did you guys grab the need number worksheet and links to the order forms okay? Or does anybody need more time to get those out of the chat room? Okay, where is the chat box? Yeah, if you're in the chat room, open up the chat room. Yes, I'm opening okay. up. Okay. So there's a couple in there for me. So I, uh, I put the link to the special offer in there. I, it says register now. And then I put... Um, the need number worksheet, which is really my website, jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash need number. You can just go there and get that. That's free. That's that four page document to help you figure out your money goal, your big picture money goal. Really okay. good to do like once a year. I just came on. So nothing is in the group chat. Oh, okay. Let me put. So if you could just paste it back. Okay. So here's the need number worksheet. Okay, great. And then here's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. Happy New Year. And I'm <laughs> 17 off with a big there's, I've got a lot of projects on my own plate this uh -huh. year, uh, such as new branding, a new website, a new book, um, more events. Uh, there's probably more I could go on and on and on but uh, one of the things that happened in Jacqueline it was you <laughs> you're watching one of my videos okay all right so everything should be back in the chat now on the bottom so need number the three order form templates and the register now button if you want the 297 offer uh, for the event okay I'm just gonna copy it and then I can look yeah at just it. copy it
You can also click those three little buttons on the bottom and says save chat and it'll save the whole chat. Uh, okay, thank you. You're uh -huh. teaching me. Yeah. Uh, let me go back in there. And the three little right over here says save chat. Great. Yeah. It should just save it to your computer. Absolutely. A thank Zoom you. Folder or something. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your generous time. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys came out and uh and some of you are just listening, but that's okay. Uh, and we'll see you on Facebook or at an event or on another call. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Thank Bye, guys. You.